Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today, in part three of my review, I'll be concluding my thoughts on this 4-inch X150 Mini Quad from Vifly. I've been flying this little sub 250 gram X150 from Vifly for a few weeks now, and I haven't really changed my mind from the original review. It's a total blast and insanely fast. To be honest, I've always been left feeling a bit dissatisfied with sub 5 inch mini quads. They promise lots, but never quite get the adrenaline pumping like a 5 or 6 inch quad. But I have to say, this X150 has been totally different. Because it's really a 3 inch frame that Vifly have managed to squeeze 4 inch props and 1406 3300 kV motors to, it's really, really fast and is under the magic 250 grams that potential new regulations in the UK require it to be registered. And if you want the full spec rundown and setup, check out parts one and two of my review up here. I've probably flown about 30 packs on this now, and I've pushed it pretty hard to try and see what breaks, and it stood up very well. It seems to be almost unbreakable despite these thin arms, and I've crushed it lots. One thing to make sure is that these bolts that lock the frame to the arms are tight. The design relies on the forearms interlocking under here, and if there's any play, they can move and the props will hit. One small fault in the design is there's only one bolt on each arm. And most of these double plate sandwich frame designs will have two bolts on each arm to keep it located. And if you hit something hard, it will get knocked out of line and you'll need to take it apart to square the arms up. I may look at adding additional bolts here to see if I can stop that happening. One other thing I've done is to add this tie wrap here to provide some strain relief on the main LiPo battery leads. If the battery comes flying off, you're just gonna rip the pads off the board. If you're used to flying a five or six inch quad, you'll find that although this is fast, it doesn't have much mass. So you don't have the inertia that you're used to for some of the fancy acro moves. And I've been using these 650 milliamp Tattoo 4S LiPos and I've been getting a good 8 minutes flight time which is pretty impressive. After a few tuning sessions I think I found some better PID settings. I was finding the stock tune a bit soft and there was a small vibration at the top end which I thought needed solving with some stiffer props. I needed a more punchy tune and this has got rid of those wobbles and it's all good for me now. And don't forget, the Betaflight OSD means you can tune in the field without a computer. Just hold the transmitter sticks at half throttle, full left yaw and full pitch up, and the OSD will appear in your goggles. And that shows most of the Betaflight settings that you can tweak with your transmitter sticks. It's dead easy. I replaced the original VTX antenna with a TBS stubby. The original was a fairly generic one and the top got broken off on the first few crashes. One thing to watch out for is the availability of these Dowell T4045 props. Here in the UK there seems to be a bit of a drought. The bullnose ones are really easy to find but the T4045 V2s are impossible to find. So what's not to like? It's small enough to fit in your pocket, it's super cheap and comes with everything you need to just fly. It's insanely fast, about 80 miles an hour. It's a clever design and it's a really tidy build. It flies great and the batteries are cheap and it's all under 250 grams. Outstanding. I predict we'll be seeing a lot more quads like this. I'll leave you with some flight footage and my PID settings will be at the end and in the description. But as always, tune to suit your own style of flying. And if you found that useful and you want updates, please like and subscribe to the channel here. It really does help me make better content. I'll see you next time. Cause no one's even close to going home. But I just wish that we could be alone. Cause how you making me feel inside? I need.